Adventures. Greetings all, Chuke here from Chuke's Outdoor Adventures. Well, as always, I want to talk about the 10 millimeter, the rise of the 10 millimeter. Now, what I have here is my Gen 5 Glock 20 in a uh, chest holster, similar to like the Kenai Gunfighters chest holster. And I kind of popularized this in the late 2010s because me and my buddies were carrying this out in Alaska while hunting, fishing, hiking. And it's because guides chose a setup like this. And so I started doing videos that became popular. And the Glock 20 itself had a role in the rise of 10 millimeter and 10 millimeter really becoming mainstream. Cause right now we have not only Glock and Springfield, but we got Sig, Smith and Wesson, even Taurus now is making 10 millimeters. And from the looks of it, there's gonna be more to come. So 10 millimeter is very popular. We are very lucky here in Alaska. I've heard in some places uh, the shelves are not as plentiful with 10 millimeter ammunition as it is here, but uh, right now I, you know, there's giant sections of only 10 millimeter at Sportsman's Warehouse. Now what is really cool is Underwood Ammo has specifically told a couple of their dealers here that they set aside lots of ammo that are only for Alaska because they know Alaskans rely on this 10 millimeter ammo to keep themselves alive in bear country. So kudos to Underwood ammunition. That was really cool of them. So the 10 millimeter by now has proven itself as capable to stop wild animals in North America, even some of the biggest wild animals. And I truly believe that. So what's next? We've got all these new companies making 10 millimeters and there is some hope that some of my dreams can come true. So what would I like to see mainly HK make like a USP, even a HK 10 like in their HK45 lineup, but I'd really love to see a USP or something like that chambered in 10 millimeter. I'd also like to see some of these rumors I've been hearing about maybe come true like a single stack Glock 10 millimeter. That would be amazing. You know, we've got these amazing magazines where companies are forming an entire pistol around the magazine, such as when the Hellcat came out, they're doing these stack and a half magazines that are pretty incredible. They are much slimmer and they pack more rounds into a smaller compact magazine than your standard magazine. I'd like to see that done with the 10 millimeter. So far, I have not seen that. It'd be great to have more capacity. Just build the pistol around a magazine that you put a lot of work into. But who knows? Some of these things may come to fruition, but what I'd also like to see is some of these other calibers become mainstream. I've seen a little bit of it with the 357 SIG. Now, I'm very excited about that caliber. I actually carry a shield. It was originally chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson, but I got a REM Sport barrel in 357 SIG, and it has been 100% for me. 357 SIG is an amazing caliber. Also, we have 40 Super, 45 Super, 460 Roland, I feel like is making a comeback, at least here in Alaska. It's been very popular for almost 20 years, and I see a lot of ammo on the shelf for 460 Roland. So I'm hoping that some of these higher powered semi-automatic cartridges will hit the mainstream just as 10 millimeter did, because let's face it, there are some cartridges that are even better than 10 millimeter, such as the 460 Roland. So let me know what you guys think. I hope there's going to be more of this to come. Speaking of wild cat cartridges tomorrow morning my video on the 280 Ackley Improved is coming out so I hope you will enjoy that please like share and subscribe if you haven't already become a patron if you can and thanks guys it's Chuke your friend in the field my name is Chuke I like to trade my guns just for fun but now I have none oh look at Chuck my bear but I don't care I got a 10 millimeter Shoot out your adventures!